When we talk about parts to whole relationship, one of the easiest charts that come to mind is the pie chart. Now, pie charts have developed quite a reputation in the past years because they're not seen as optimal visual presentation of your data by many visualization experts. Now, the reasoning behind this is that it's challenging for humans to compare different sizes of the pie when they're close in size. Now, on the other hand, pie chart lovers state that pie charts are a great way of showing distributions, and the best thing about them is that you know you're looking at the full picture because it's a circle. Now, independent to this, organizations and businesses can be quite obsessed with the pie charts. So in case you do have to use pie charts, you can suggest the following pie chart free method that I'm going to show you in this lecture to your boss and to your colleagues. It's a suggestion made by Stefan Few in his book, Show Me the Numbers. Now, they will probably go for it because it is more effective than the pie chart. But in case they do insist on using the pie chart, then try to reduce the number of slices used to a maximum of five pieces. What is the pie chart free method? It's this. I find it very informative and it contains information that goes beyond the pie chart. It's sorted, which makes it super easy to identify which cost center has the highest and which one has the lowest cost. It also provides a good overview of the percentage of total cost contribution for each of these cost centers. In addition to the percentages, you can see the total absolute values for each cost center. And you also know that this is the full picture because you have a summary line here with the total value of all the cost centers right below it. And this, of course, is all dynamic. This is the original data table. If, for example, our cost center 1 has 500 instead of 700, it becomes number 2. So the sorting is automatic, the totals change, the percentages change, which makes our life super simple. I'm going to show you how to create this. I'm just going to copy this. Let's go to a new sheet and paste. And now if this is your data, it's very tempting to create a pie chart because it's so easy to do it. All I have to do is highlight this, insert pie. Okay, so if I was making a pie chart, I mean, it just took two steps. All I have to do now is to add a title, maybe add my data labels here. But it's not easy to read because I'll have to look here and say, okay, this is cost center one. This one seems to be this color is that and so on. I mean, I could say format my data labels and include my category names in there but then it also becomes overcrowded. You change the separator to maybe a semicolon that it's more obvious. Still, it's, it's a bit crowded, and if I really personally have the choice of choosing to read this or to read the table itself, I'll go with the table. For me, this currently is easier to read than this. But now I'll show you the effective way of presenting this data. Now, it does take more work than this. There's no doubt about it. But in the end, it's really worth it. To get my bar chart sorted automatically, I need to use the functions that we learned in the previous sections to make our charts dynamic. And the relevant function right now is our rank function. So I need to get the ranking of these. If you remember, the formula was rank. I'm ranking this value relative to these. I'm going to F4 that. And 0, or you can leave it empty. It's descending by default. And I rank these like this. I'll just change this back to my original 700 value. In the next step, I need to add my section where I'm preparing the data. So I'm going to call this data for chart. I then need my bars in order. So I need to add an index. Here I would like to have my sorted cost center. 
and my sorted values. Which formula can I use to get my cost centers here in a sorted manner? To index and match function. So I can say index, and what do I want? I want a cost center, so that's what I have to index. I'm matching one because I want number one here. I'm matching this in my rank. I want a perfect match. And now I have my cost centers ranked. I have to do the same for values. I'm just going to copy this to be faster. Paste this in here and just switch my index area to the value. Now I need to calculate a total. I can calculate my percentages. Now I have all the data that I need for the chart. The only problem with this is what happens if two of these cost centers have exactly the same number? So if cost center 4 also has 600, I get a problem here. Because both of them have number 2 as rank, and there's no number 3, and the next one is 4. This is where you shouldn't forget about adding a unique rank. And in this case, I can use a correction factor, what we learned before. I will use the COUNTIF function. Let's change this to 600 and everything works well because the second occurrence becomes a 3. If you forgot how this is done, please go back and review the section that discusses the secrets for dynamic charts. So I'm going to put this back and now we're going to introduce our bar chart. I'm just going to highlight this and the percentages. Now you can see it's the other way around, so I can click on it, format the axis, and say show me the categories in reverse order. Now, how do I get my data labels in there? As a first step, I just have to activate my data labels. I would like to have them inside base, in white, but I don't want to have the percentage. That I can see from here. What I do want is to show the values, and that's what I'm going to do with the formula. So I'm going to say equals this, and I'm going to repeat that for each of these. And it's going to be dynamic, because whenever my data changes, this sorting here changes, the result of my graph also changes. Now all I have to do is add my total. I just have to play around with this. I'm going to decrease my plot area. I'm going to insert a line. I'm going to add a text box.
I'll go here and write equals this. Now if I want the thousand separator here, all I have to do is format this cell. You can do that quickly by pressing Control-1. You see this changes as well. I just need to position this properly. And what I can do is I'm going to click on this text box. I'm going to hold down Control, click on the line, click on my graph, right mouse click and group them. Now they're all one object. So if I do move my graph, my number and my line move with it. So now let's test this to see if it works. If I have here 600 as well, looks good. If my cost center one is 400, they switched. If my cost center four is 800, it switched, my totals change, everything is dynamic. An effective pie chart free method that shows parts to whole relationships. Now you can reduce the size of this, it doesn't take that much space, and it is highly informative.